Hey, what's going on, everybody? BQ here making my return to the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. If you are one of the older subscribers, you have not heard me or heard my voice for quite some time now, with the exception of reviewing the Rebellion pay-per-view with Trent. Other than that, I've been off the channel since after Bound for Glory, right after Bound for Glory. We'll keep it real with you guys. I got burnt out from the channel. I got burnt out from wrestling. Kind of got burnt out from life, to be honest. Now, I want to make it very clear. Life is good. Life is very good. Life is just busy. Life is just crazy. It's me and my three kids here in the house. And uh, the responsibilities that come with that on a daily basis kind of got to me. And uh, I really needed an extended break. I was hoping, hoping only to take it for a month or two, but really I needed uh, a lot longer than that. So here I am back on the channel. I'm going to do my best to cover news as things happen. It's probably not going to be a daily content thing like previously. We'll do a couple of vlogs here and there, and then I'm going to continue getting back doing the interviews. I will hop on with Trent, Kyle, Every once in a while to review Impact. As a matter of fact, Trent and I are going to be reviewing Impact later today from the June 7th episode, I believe. So I will be hopping back on that. I don't know if I'll be hosting or be in the passenger seat for that one, but I will be returning. Um, and just whatever other content ideas I can come up with. I've got a couple new ideas to bring a little more life into the channel. But thanks to everyone who was cool with me taking a break. I know I didn't really communicate that at the time. That's how honest to God, how stressed out I was and how burnt out I was. And thankfully, the team here has been able to come through in the clutch and provide some good content, good reviews, talking Impact Wrestling for you guys. So I am making my return. Uh, if there's any content ideas that you want to hear on the channel, uh, we're going we're gonna to freshen things up here pretty soon and try to get things popping like they used to be, especially leading up to Slammiversary. I've got a couple of interviews that I'm uh, getting ready to knock out. But I do want some feedback from you guys because interviews typically do not do very good numbers here on the channel. And I'm really trying to figure out why. It doesn't matter if the interview is 15 minutes long, 20 minutes long, 30 minutes long, an hour long. It seems like a majority of the subscribers don't have interest in the interviews. So trying to figure out maybe why that is or what we can do to make them better because we do enjoy doing them. I know if I was just approaching this as an impact fan i would i would be really interested in the interviews those would be probably the number one thing i would have interest in but the subscriber base in a whole as a whole does not have that same level of interest so that is the one thing here on the channel i'm trying to pinpoint how how can we breathe some life back into these and uh make it so it's entertaining for you guys as the subscribers so impact wrestling has been really good lately i'm going to try to do a separate podcast in, in a little bit I uh, won't make it too long with my general thoughts of the state of Impact Wrestling. Since I haven't really communicated my thoughts on that in the last half year or so, I want to sit down and talk about what I think about what's going on and then uh, read the comments and see what you guys think about what's going on. So I have a lot of really, really good things to say. I have a couple negatives. It's not, for the most part, it's nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, but I'm looking forward to talking about that with you guys. So... Thanks for uh, continuing to ride with the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. We are going to try to kick, kick things up a notch here once again. So I will talk to you guys on the flip side. Peace.